Hello, Don in London. My video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour and it's uh, June 27th. June 27th, coming up for July. Wow. Sun shining and it's thunderstorms later and it's the second week of Wimbledon here in London, UK. So, addiction, well, what does it mean for me to substance or behaviour? My substance, alcohol, so I'm an alcoholic in recovery. And my behaviour could be equally addictive. And if I'd been a tennis fan, I'd have been down at Wimbledon with the right people in the right place doing the right thing. So that would involve being in the right place, seeing the best tennis, if that's the right place, doing the right thing, champagne and strawberries. So I don't do that anymore. In fact, I never did that, but that's just an example. Trying to be in the right place. Always trying to be something. And these days I don't have to be something, I just need to be me and find out who, who I am and what I am and know more about what is going on in my life by the day. So what helped me get to recovery? Well, family, friends, community, society, professionals all helped keep me alive when I didn't want to be because drink had got to, got to every aspect of my life and I didn't know how to get out of it. Tried willpower and willpower failed because it will. We can only sustain extremes for so long. So the extreme of drinking to beyond any way of stopping through to stopping completely are extremes of behaviour. So to run from one spectrum of what was going on to the other in a day is quite difficult. <coughs> and it, did, it was a difficult time in early days. So what helped me most was to uh, become, my, I suppose, associated with and part of the Fellowship of AA, Alcoholics Anonymous, a place where I learn freedom, how to live a day at a time. And there are 12 good principles, the 12 step toolkit, where life is made possible and practical and real, so that we can understand what we can do and what we can't do on a daily basis. And number one is not drink anymore. So how did I do that? Well, it wasn't me. I just went along and listened carefully to what people in the fellowship said. And the good news about fellowship is we get freedom to be who we are and freedom to choose what we can do based on our life situation. It doesn't mean we're free to do everything. We have to take account of where we're coming from, what we have and don't have, and be real about what is good for us. And we have to start listening and learning again. And here on this particular video, and hopefully I can join them up with some others from different years, and a reading of the sixth step of the toolkit, which is how to be less fearful, less driven to put a brave face on, and less driven by ego to cover up any shame or guilt. Because in reality, there is no shame and guilt when we're living to good principles. So my thoughts for today, <coughs> and from previous years too, but these a couple of things. I went to a meeting last night of, a, of the fellowship and I, I can say categorically I don't speak for AA. I can't, never can, never will, never want to because it's full of unique authentic people who speak for themselves where they will. So for me what did it impact? Last night a meeting where I could hear what happened to many who used alcohol to suppress old nightmares. And believe you me we are damaged in some way because if we weren't damaged we would never have drunk like we did often like me to cover up the old hurt the old damage that was done over the years the things I couldn't cope with the things I couldn't see any point in trying to work through because it just hurt too much so I used alcohol to suppress all those things but we do learn in, in sober days how to deal with the wreckage of the past we do a life story and we share it with somebody we trust to find out what worked and what didn't. Just one day at a time and in time we find we live in the moment less haunted and sometimes the ghosts are gone. But the reason why we talk about the ghosts of the past, those things which hurt us most, is to understand how not to let it happen again. How to live to different principles which work, keep us open, honest and willing, to keep on changing and learning. And learning is the key so, another thing, uh, I share the daily reflections from time to time, and today it was about conforming to the AA way of life. 
and I've put here conforming to the AA way with a question mark so once we understand what the AA way is that is Alcoholics Anonymous is there to enable people to get back to freedom of choice in real life in real, real life situations to face life without having to take the edge off or fix ourselves we learn to live to good principles to face reality some say this is obedience and I suggest it is freedom to live life to do good works that's do good not for doing gooders sake but do good things which help us live well learn how to learn again and be more comfortable in our own skin fellowship taught me in, in recovery how to be me for a day and that's what it is how to be me for today it's not about tomorrow and it's not about the past but you know the life experience we have had tells us what is not good for us and sometimes it's very simple to say that's not good for me I need not do that and then we have to explain why sometimes and sometimes we just say I just don't feel like doing that you may feel it's good for you but it's not good for me so I'm not going to Wimbledon and I'm not tempting myself with champagne and strawberries and I feel happier knowing I've got something better to do today which is good for me and if I want to know what's going on at the tennis I'll watch it on TV and that will help me I can still enjoy it I just don't have to indulge in the extras which used to go with it and in the past from previous years our anarchic democracy that's AA where every voice counts every voice is equal and every voice has a chance to speak at group consciences as they're called group meetings to decide how meetings are run hammered out on the anvils of experience and I like that phrase anvils of experience hammering out what works on a daily basis is the very backbone of what makes life work we don't shirk what we need to look at anymore learning to live to the good with courage, faith and esteem from powerlessness and unmanageability slowly being restored to sanity included in the world as it is clearing the wreckage of the past sharing our truth we start to feel and think differently as reality impacts and we are real today may not seem it, may not feel it can feel very uncomfortable to be talking reality and facing the feelings we have inside it doesn't mean we're shrinking violets indeed dealing with our feelings as they are happening knowing how we feel learning what is a feeling can be quite uh, startling in the first instance and then we get used to it used to being real and again conforming to the AA way letting go extremes of fear brave facing and ego developing balance with courage faith and confidence so step six which is all about defects of character and defe defects of character for me are the extremes of behavior so if I'm living in extreme fear living with an, a brave face which is covering up extreme feelings trying to deal with situations which feel impossible and my ego is saying don't show any weakness then I'm doing myself a disservice and a disservice to the people around me because all the people around me can help me even if I'm the leader or just a follower depending on what's going on so if I say it feels a li little bit wrong what can we do I'm including people rather than excluding them and equally courage faith and confidence which has no foundation to be extreme full of courage and bravery and fortitude when we don't know what we're doing is foolhardy it's like people being told to get out of a trench in World War One, go fight the enemy shoot them knowing full well that the outcome is probably going to be getting killed and we can't dodge bullets in life some bullets anyway but other bullets we don't need to see fired at us if we are living reality because we don't stay where it's harmful that means we're not cowards by the way it just means weighing up a situation knowing enough fear sometimes a little bit of a brave face will see us through but also having courage and confidence and faith that we're on the right path but when we're dealing with an extreme situation extreme feelings exist for a reason fight or flight and then, then can we decide what to do it's not 
hang on let's have a group discussion about this sometimes we do need to respond and react very quickly to danger of whatever kind it might be so we learn reality and what we, we can do about it yep steps and traditions principles to unravel are anger resentment and belligerence all that stuff the wreckage of the past the AA way to be unique and authentic individuals with personal choices unity in service and recovery in fellowship that's how we help by being of youth service to others in unity and recovery just the way we are and always just for today because that's what it is day, we're in day size living in the day learning what's going on and being open to change so it doesn't have to, if it this phase if it ain't broke don't fix it is very very appropriate if something's working really really well and is required and real but we don't hold on to old ideas which don't fit the new reality we need the new ideas and to live reality as it is today anyway that's me all about June 27th second week of Wimbledon the sun is shining brightly this morning thunderstorms later on it, life can be thundery even without the weather but today just now it's all right and I feel okay in the moment of now more later